In this video, we're going to see how to use Word 2010 to set up the header area of an MLA style essay for every page in your essay. MLA style asks that we place the essay writer's last name, that's your last name, in the header area followed by a single space and then the page number. So let's take a closer look to see what this is. Let me zoom out on the sample essay I have on screen and let me open up the header and footer region and you can see that every page in a Word document has a header area at the top of each page and a footer area at the bottom of each page. Now any material that you place in the header or the footer areas is automatically repeated on every page in the document which makes setting things up like page numbers and repeating your last name on every page very easy if you know how. So let me turn off the header and footer region and let's scroll back or zoom back up to full size and let's see how to do that. So how do you open up the header region? The easiest way is to take your mouse, put it in the header area and double click. And now the header is open and ready for editing. If you look up in the ribbon you'll also see that the uh, a new tab, the design tab, has been opened and is loaded with uh, the header and footer tools that we can use to format uh, the header. Um, let's, uh, back in the header, let's take a closer look at the number and you can see that this is not just an ordinary number, it has a gray field behind it. If I right click on the gray field, I can toggle the field code open showing us that, that that number is actually a Word field code which tells Word uh, to put a page number in there and to merge the format with whichever particular page we're on. Uh, let me turn that field code off and for demonstrations let's uh, delete what I have in, this, in the uh, header here and let's do what many people do when confronted with uh, having put a page number in a header for the first time, what they many people do is they put a uh, ordinary static number here by clicking on the number key number one on the keyboard. Well that works for page number one but if we scroll down to page number two we can see the static number is still number one on page number two. On page number three it's still well page number one. Well this this does not work for us. So let's go back up to the top and let's delete this ordinary static number and let's see how to put a uh, automatically updating uh, page field number in there. We go up to the ribbon, we go over uh, to the header and footer group and on the page number menu we click and, op and scroll down to current position and then over to plain number. If we click on that and this inserts a number field where our blinking insertion mark was before. We see this is a actual field code. Great. Now if we scroll down to page 2, we see that page 2 is now numbered page 2. Page 3 is now numbered page 3 and so on. Great. That's what we want. This works. Now all we have to do is put in our last name. Let's say my name was Smith and a single space and we're done. To close the uh, header all you have to do is put your mouse down in the uh, normal body text area and double click. Now the body's closed or the header's closed and now at the top of my page 1 I have Smith 1, page 2 I have Smith 2, page 3 I have Smith 3 and so on. And that is how to use Word 2010 to set up your header in MLA style the easy way.